Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. We're doing something unique today. Uh, this is going to be another challenge game. Uh, these seem to be well received and so we're doing another one. Uh, and we're playing Hungry because we are going to, I'm going to call this a levy only domination challenge. So the bulk of what we're going to do militarily is going to come through city state levies. Um, we are allowed, we, we came up with some rules and I'll go over them right now real quick. We're allowed to build our initial scout, but only one. And then from there, we're not allowed to build or directly buy any military units, um, specifically military units throughout the rest of the game. Uh, so what that does mean is that a general like Boudica here who can convert adjacent barbarian units to ours, this is fair game. We're not building or buying these units. We're, we're retiring the general and getting a benefit. Similarly, um, something like T Statue of Zeus is, is on the table uh, and could give us some extra military. We are playing with heroes and legends and secret societies. So heroes are also on the table as are vampires. Um, assuming we want to go that way. But remember, we're not we're not going to be able to handle early uh, barb camps all that well without being able to build some military units to, to, to back up our warrior. And again, we didn't build or buy this. So this warrior is, is, is on the table to use uh, and is fair game. So we have a beautiful start. This is our uh, initial start here. Uh, we, we went kind of back and forth on, I think there's an argument to settle in place. And I think what I'm going to do is settle the T. I think this is a bit of a dead tile. I like the fact that we have a bunch of truffles. These are very strong opening tiles. And frankly, I like coffee plantations quite a bit as well. Um, plantations in general will be good. One of our big bottlenecks in a game like this is going to be gold. Uh, and so having having a uh, a, a, a a tile, a bunch of plantations for extra gold is actually going to be really, really valuable. Um, so there is an argument to settle in place, uh, but I like the I like the T settle a lot. We'll get a two one one base with a with a little extra science, uh, and that'll help us out uh, just kind of early on. We could certainly look at a TOA building TOA. That's another argument for maybe settling in place instead of moving to settle this, so that you can get a little extra amenities out of it or whatever. Um, but I, I kind of like kind of like not. We also have olives and cotton, so plantation pantheon looking quite good, uh, although the camp pantheon would improve our capital quite a bit. Does this info change anything? We do have a volcano down here, so it's going to be a little bit tougher to get a second city maybe somewhere here. Um, if we settle in place, we get three of our districts built uh, across a river like that, but if we settle the T, we only get two. Um, but one of the most important ones is going to be our campus that is here. Remember that we get 50% extra production towards districts and buildings across the river from a city center. So there is another argument to settle in place just based on having a triple district like that. But I still think I like this choice the most. We are using mods uh, for the first time in a very long time. We're using a, uh, a mod that will show us the yields of city-state policies and then a better reports mod uh, in order to enable that as well. So... That is what we're up to. We get to start with this first scout. Please yell at me if I try to build any any other military reflexively, because um, that is certainly something that uh, I could I could see myself trying to do. Um, we are allowed to have uh, support units like uh, like like uh, like siege towers and such. So as long as it's not directly military, then we'll be good. So we do get this one scout, and we could enable. I don't know. Do we want to go encampment first? Because we are allowed to have generals. We just can't really build uh, the units out of here. There's an argument to go right to the encampment. There's an argument to go towards Temple of Artemis. If we want to go towards the encampment, that would enable our campus here, which is plus three initially, which is quite good. Um, I think... I think I like... Yeah, I kind of want Boudica. I, I think I want Boudica. I think I'm going to go mining into an encampment uh, so we can have a general with our hopefully first levy war. And and yeah, to chat's, chat's saying if, if we get overwhelmed with barbs, Boudica could be quite valuable. And I agree with that. Plus four campus with rainforest. True, true. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Splendid socks. Thank you so much for the prime. Welcome back for six months. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So do we save Goody Huts for this scout being that we only get one? Or do we just pop this in hopes that like it has as good a chance as at, at any point to just give us a second scout or something else quite valuable? We can, and yes, this warrior is ours to keep. We need to be very careful with it to not use it, uh, to not lose it, rather. Uh, because if we do want to go for something like vampires, this is going to enable our combat strength. Miko is fabulous. That's maybe best case scenario uh, for what we're trying to do here. Uh, and it looks like we have a it looks like we have a city state right below us as well. So off to a pretty decent start here. Granada. And they want craftsmanship. This is a scientific city state. Okay. And we have a governor. Do we want to take uh we, we know we're gonna want Amani, right? Amani is going to be integral to our strategies. So do I just want to grab Amani now and Suze Granada? Owls is unlocked. This is certainly a good choice in general. However, for our strategy, I do think that we want... Um, I do think that we're going to want uh, vampires just for the extra units. We could also naturally Suze here if we can get the craftsmanship boost. I'm going to wait one turn and see who this is. Fez, and it's not a first meet. So I think we are on this plan. And I'm going to move this scout here to hopefully block this barbarian from finding us super early. We might be able to clear it and get our vampires going. That would be pretty, pretty cool. Um, all right, so not allowed to build military. I think we go for the monument so we can get Himiko online. Uh, it's either that or Settler. It's probably Settler first. But Amani to Fez doesn't uh, suzerain. We didn't get a first meet. Ooh, Mogadishu. And this is a first meet. Quest here is Irrigation. Uh, yeah, and uh, Hercules, super, super good. Super, super valuable. Okay. Monty gives two envoys. Two envoys. Rapa. We did up the city-state number here, so it's unsurprising that we're running into a bunch of them. We already have uh, a Namani here from somebody. I'll take an initial swing. This is early empire. This is writing. Getting all the invites. We have owls and void singers. Hopefully we can get a vampire invite here. That would be probably the most important.
Probably two cities down here is my guess. Is this coast? We do have an envoy. Yeah, certainly, certainly an interesting um, setup for us taking advantage of our extra production to districts with all of these rivers down here. We do have a river bias, which is one of the better ones in the game. We're about to get our first envoy in Rapa, so I think I'm going to save the envoy. Uh, we know that somebody, there's somebody here and there's somebody here, so we're, we should certainly get the writing inspiration and grab that. And a son Wukong. Okay. Hyrule. And we also met Johannesburg. Okay. So many city states. So somebody down here, they might be our first. What's the advantage of vampires over owls if we need golden envoys for levying and upgrading? Is levying just not that expensive? No, that's certainly a big... I, I, there's certainly an argument for, for owls uh, and, and the extra envoys and stuff. But I, I really feel like in a game where we're not allowed to build any units, like if like the vampire unit is going to be tremendously valuable. Brussels is the first meet. Hello, Georgia. Okay, so she's down here. Somehow we got the first meet here, which is kind of crazy. Uh, there's our writing inspiration. So now we have the culture from Rapa. <laughs> Triple continent here. This is pretty spicy. No. Oh, I was going to say no vampire invite and then prove, proved wrong. Prove me wrong, game. Prove me wrong. Yeah, Spain would adore this seed. This is, uh, this is looking real, real good. Real nice. I guess I want to level on my scout. You, here you can see the mod. Let's find our Pantheon. It's so, it's like, I'm like, oh, we have slinger money. Nope. So where's our first city go? Other than maybe towards Tamar. It's like a half a Petra city. It's a plus four campus. All right, so where do these cities go? Board settling her seems like a good idea. Do we want to make it all the way down here? Have some nice districts. One, two, three, four-ish tiles for a Petra. I would like Petra. It's a nice gold. Uh, it's a nice gold wonder. My man. 
I could see this settle. Uh, Taco, thanks for the follow. What if it was this? This, we get two. We can throw a government plaza here. Then we accelerate on a commercial hub and probably like a theater square. And then here, kind of a similar thing. Could also move the theater squares and get some industrial zone action. Although, what, what good is an industrial zone if we can't build units with it? It seems reasonable to me. This is the better first city. We can buy the amber and grow a bunch of tiles, steal this from Fez right away. I think I like that. Seems okay, not amazing. <laughs> Sounds good, Violet. Sounds good to me, friend. So let's go for a second settler right away, I think. Holy site for rebuying heroes. I think that's a good I think that's a good idea. Not Monument Himiko. I think it's a little early for Himiko. Let's go scout, scout Georgia. Oracle would be very good as well. We'll pick up all the AIs plus one holy sites on the way. <laughs> Killing Moon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So we could be looking at a Mogadishu Suze slash Kill Georgia. My man. Potentially. Or maybe even Rapa. Uh, Clinith, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Paisley. How are you, friend? We're one barb away from this. We've killed a scout and the spearman. I think I'm going to go find horses slash uh, be able to improve the truffles. I may regret this. Don't move here. Very nice. Can't kill that. I post yesterday I convinced you to work out for the first time this year. Now your legs hurt. Hey, that's a good feeling though. I love the I love the the sort of like, oh yeah. Like I hurt, but for a good reason. And I'm proud of you. Well done. Oh, that slinger is scary. I do not want to lose this scout. That would be exceptionally bad. So I'm going to buy this. Uh, this is going to give us a really... It's not a food tile, uh, but this extra culture will help us expand our borders. And I find that to be very valuable. Plus it steals it from them. 
That would certainly be their first tile expand if we send them an envoy. I'm running away because I am a coward and I don't want to lose one of the only units we're allowed to build here. <laughs> Georgia, don't don't levy. That's my that's my shtick. That's my shtick. We're under volcano. We have enough. We have enough health. It's okay. But yes, it was a little bit risky. Yeah, I figured this slinger was going to be active. So let's... Ooh, we're going to have a vampire battle. That's exciting. Ooh. We're going to have all kinds of battles. <laughs> this is a spicy game. I agree. I agree. How much is Granada's levy? It's only 200 to levy from Granada, and that's going to give us two more envoys there, right? Yeah, we'll see if we if he wants our tea. He does. He does. Um so it gives them two more tiles. How close to Granada are we planning on settling? With this triple city-state setup, it's unlikely that a lot of their tiles matter to us a lot. They've already taken this coffee, which is one that we could have maybe tried to snipe. They've taken the tea, and so they're likely to take this 2-2 and something else. Also, where's the um, truffles? <laughs> Hello? Shuffle icon. Plus, th plus, if we levy, we get the era score and grab this goodie hut. Is it too early? Is it too early to do that? Mephistopheles, thank you so much. Thank you for the 33 months and welcome on back to the shop. How you doing, buddy? It's good to have you here. Timing does matter, and we're and we 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 teched away from. We tacked away from our sword, like our immediacy of swords. Hmm. We already have a level on our scout, so I'll put over, I'll, I'll switch us to discipline. In case shenanigans. Finally get to watch the new season of The Expanse. Nice. Enjoy it. That's such a good show. Yes, we are, Sarge. I'm, I'm trying out some mods today. I, I generally don't mod a lot. So she knows somebody that we don't know. As, as does he. Hmm... I think I'd rather buy a builder. Because our builder is going to give us like better tiles. We already have gold tiles. Um, give us Eureka's. I think I'm going to buy a builder next turn. Oh, here we go. I'm fond of pigs. Uh, 
All right, there's bronze working for us. We can go back towards sword stuff. I don't think we'll die here with the extra five combat strength that we put in. Um, I wouldn't mind trying to get to Tamar before she gets walls. That seems valuable to me. So there are horses down here. I guess that doesn't really matter for us. Oh, I'm going to buy a... I wanted to buy a uh, builder. Oh, there's horses here too. Man, that Temple of Artemis looks really nice. Like, really nice. So if we put Artemis here... And you are four tiles. So one, two, three, four. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Two, four. That's eight. Eight tile. Uh, eight tile Artemis. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Let's see what the iron situation is before we start to make decisions. So she levied here, but then probably killed off all of the units, right? So that's not ideal. Um, we want the we want to farm. So do we buy a builder here? Improve the amber. Improve the sheep, improve the maze, or do we buy one here, improve the truffles, improve the horses? Hmm. I think we do this. Wait to see where the iron is. That's fair. That 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 maybe would have been fine. Iron here under the volcano. We do have some I oh iron on that uh, desert hill in the cap. All right, there's Monty's land. Don't need to tangle with him quite yet. I'll probably grab another builder fairly soon here. Let's start going towards our swords. With her lack of military, uh, it may, might make total sense to... Uh, you know what? Let's move Amani. Are we get, we're giving up on Granada, Suze, even though we know this is here. And I think we look at Mogadishu. Yeah. Also, should we go somewhere else first? Should we go to Brussels first? I think we go to Brussels for the era score and then land down in Mogadishu so that we can levy and kill her. And that's going to give us a bunch more uh, vision as well. And especially since we can only build one scout, I feel like this seems good. So she has iron and a bunch of horses. Uh, D Pirate Bay, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Major flood. There's another city state. Rush tomorrow before she gets rebalanced. <laughs> Ooh, this is a spicy game. Holy what? 
Oh, we got kicked out over there. Okay. This is a very, very spicy game. So there's more gold. We mentioned how important that, that is to us. And then, do we like this for our settle? Or do we want to try to push? All of this land around us is very nice. It's time for a monument. I think we just, I think this is fine, right? This is improved, this is era score. It also gives us our farm tile. Okay, so we got kicked out of her land. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So I guess we're gonna go from Tamar to, and then kill him. Selling horses to Monty seems like a good strategy for us. We don't actually need horses because we cannot build horses. But that's another good way for us to get gold. I don't think we're trading with Tamar. Oh, we've got this. All right, so that's our plantation boost. I think I do want this, although I could put on, just make the, the truffles online. No, I need this. You know what? We need the iron. The iron we do need from a strategic perspective. Monty is over here. We see his borders a little bit. I saw there was a, a Barbarian Slinger here. I think I'm mostly interested in bringing this unit back safely. And now Arthur. We need a we need uh we need some population. Uh Wolfman, thank you so much for the follow. And uh, Levy, thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome on back. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate the ongoing support. So we're looking we need eleven era score. We're gonna go ahead and move away from Wow, Hunza's the first meet too. Do I go do I go Hunza for, for maximum greed and then down here? I think so. This is such good era score for us. It's two it's two every first Sue's here. I think I like that. All right, let's get our iron going. Working food. Now we have iron. We're so close, and I do want this Eureka pretty badly. Because it's a it's an envoy, and then we can just sue Mogadishu even without Amani. Ooh. 
We already have Hamiko, Andy. Uh-oh. What's up, Lucas? I'm glad you're here. Levy heroes and vampires only. Um, all right. I, this is going to be a bit of a short first YouTube video. Uh, sorry about that, YouTube, but we've got a crash going on, so I'll just reload back into the game. We'll have to replay turn 32, uh, and then we will hopefully be back to our really exciting game here. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.